Hi. Just making this video to demonstrate how quickly a project can be created in uh, Jigsaw Factory, my Jigsaw puzzle generator software that uh, generates digital jigsaw puzzles, puzzle packages. So what we're going to do is create a new puzzle project. Let's hit the name of it. Let's call it Test. Create that. That opens up all these other tabs. So now we can leave the window title bar text blank, it'll just set it to the project name. So now we need to add source images. We'll grab this, press Ctrl A to select them. Actually we'll just copy them. Now we can. You yeah, see so through those three options you can drag and drop into here. Use a file requester with this button. Or you can post them from the clipboard if you've already copied them, as I have. So I'll just post them there. Now it's just processing the files. And it's done. No er errors were in encountered, so that's good. And the files will, image files will appear here. Now you can sort these around using these sort buttons. If you want, you can also create image descriptions for the each uh, image file, which will show up in the image info section in the puzzle client. Create more info for pages, which will show up in the more info section. What we're going to do here is just create a quick jigsaw puzzle. So we'll create a zip package first. These will open in this folder here, the output folder. So we'll create a zip package. That's created. It shows up in the output folder. Test zip, which contains test, which contains the uh, files. Just double click on the jigsaw puzzles executable. Copy and paste this out of the uh, zip file, and then double click on the executable to run it. So I'm in the wrong spot here. Let's go here. Back to output. Alright, now let's create a just a loose package. It's created. So it's appeared in here. It's just uh, placed into a folder. So this is the package we created. And that's uh, how quickly you can create a jigsaw puzzle package with a program and you can't solve it easily find the pieces what have we got on that, on that and you can uh, configure it in various ways, different puzzle piece sizes, different random variants Let's just turn all this on. Okay, I'll create another puzzle. That's created one of the max settings. Uh, your force fields, dynamic movement and rotation. You have the timer up here with the uh, force field detection penalty. And you have to move in between this gap in the force field to capture the piece. You got a um, phone version of the pu uh, puzzle image in the background there, and so on. And the mouse pointer version this makes it easier to capture the pieces. So that's the jigsaw puzzle client we just created, and that's how easy it is to uh, actually make a jigsaw puzzle with Jigsaw Factory. So, thanks for listening.